What's up guys, Evil Deer here, and I'm back after a week of silence. You're probably wondering, Evil Deer, where did you go? Well, actually, I had a lot of stuff that happened to me. First up, I went to a wedding, and then after that, I went to a birthday party, and then after that, I thought it would be a great idea to be violently sick for about three days in a row, and I'm now in recovery mode. I'm loud and obnoxious again, so that means everything's going as planned. Um, so I guess we've got a little bit of catching up. So first up, Troll and ease, where are we at with that? Um, it looks like a lot of people are interested in that concept, funnily enough. A lot of people propose sounds and ideas for the language, so tomorrow I'll bring out another Troll and ease video. We will set the sound of Troll and ease in stone, and then we'll move on to some other aspect of the language. So that's going to go ahead. And by the way, a few of you guys, you freaking trolled me. I should have expected that, but one of you guys really trolled me. That was awesome. Made me go search the internet for a while. Um, second thing. So, looks like the language I will have to learn is Lajban. Not really looking forward to that because that's a freaking hard language from everything I've read. But you know what, I'm gonna try it out. I'll try and learn it. I'll start with the sounds and then I'll just make my way past there based on what everyone suggested in the comments. Funnily enough, people were leaving like suggestions on how to learn Lajban across all my videos, not even related to that video. It was just randomly thrown on different videos. And I was like, uh, okay, this video is not even, Okay, thanks for that. Thanks for the link, I guess. <laughs> um, so yeah, next thing after that. Uh, I've been smashing the Chinese um, while sick. As much as you can smash, I've been sitting here going, What's young? Uh, and like just laying here ill trying to practice. But yeah, that went down well. However, I've been using this app that I found is called Hello Chinese. If you are interested in learning Chinese, Mandarin Chinese, for all those pretentious people out there who are like, It's not Chinese, it's Mandarin. So yeah, um, I've been using this app, sorry about that, Hello Chinese. It's freaking awesome, it's basically a full-on knockoff of Duolingo, except designed to teach you Chinese. I love it, it's got the tree structure, it's got the game type structure, it's got pretty much everything you could imagine. Um, I'm about 80% of the way through the tree right now and I'm really, really enjoying it. And I've just been using that along with uh, my flashcards. And by the way, something I do with flashcards, I don't know about you guys, I see a lot of people when they use flashcards to learn a language, they put in individual words and then they practice those. I never do that. I put it in entire sentences. If I want to learn one word, I'll put like three or four sentences in with that word used in different contexts in order to learn it. And I find I learn words a lot more naturally when I do that. So I highly suggest you don't put individual words in there. But yeah, so I've been practicing that. Also, on the weekend, as I said, I went to a wedding. It was actually a full Chinese wedding. It was one of my um, wife's friends. Everyone there was Chinese except for me and one other white guy who sat right next to me. And it was freaking funny because I sat down at the wedding. I'm like, here, and he's right there, and he's with his wife. Um, she's Chinese, but he's white. And it was funny because he turns to me and he's like, oh, hey. Like, he looked really excited to see someone of his own species there. That is so bad, own species. Okay, I'm going to cut that. He looks so excited to see someone like me there, like me. I, it almost sounds racist, but you know what I'm saying. Like uh, another white person who speaks English, because everyone there was speaking Chinese. I'm not trying to be racist here. Everyone there was speaking Chinese but him because he didn't speak Chinese. And the funny thing is, I speak Chinese. I'm not like fluent, I'm like low level conversational, but I was able to like enter into these conversations and start speaking with people and joking and stuff. And you should have seen how much that, that really pissed him off. I could see it in his eyes. He was looking at me like with a deaf stare as if he wanted to say, everyone here is Chinese. The one other person who isn't also knows freaking Chinese. But yeah, that made me feel really good. That's the first time I'd be able to use Mandarin Chinese in like a large um, area and during for, a, uh, during for a long time before. So I really enjoyed that. Um, and I even gave a speech because uh, one of the organizers came up and she's like, um, and I was like, oh, uh, <laughs> like I, can, I can speak a few words. <laughs> and then she's like, yeah, yeah, come up here, do a speech, do a speech. So I was standing up there and I'm like, um, uh, uh, I'm like, and then I just kind of continued on. Sorry, I just wanted to like get some of that Chinese out. I felt really excited about that. 
great way if you want to practice a language is to actually try and use it even in front of a big group and even if you can pull off a little bit like the whole room they were like clapping they were loving it they were loving it like I was probably screwing up every single sentence but the fact that I was giving a speech in their language when they live in Australia um, it obviously meant a lot to them so they were really quite excited about that and afterwards they're all giving me claps on the back and they're trying to teach me like extra words and stuff so that was like really good incentive I guess it doesn't happen that much for them so yeah that's pretty much what I've been up to um, I will do the troll on these video tomorrow I'll start learning Lojaban and I'll continue smashing the Chinese get hello Chinese if you haven't got it already best Duolingo knockoff for Chinese that is it so if you've liked this video give it a like share it around with your friends sub to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you all in the next video and if you're not there I will find you and I will infect you with whatever freaking screwed me up over the last three days <laughs>